Nothing like a crane catastrophe to bring out neighbors. Oh my goodness. Neighbors like Jolene Steffen. How is this going to work out? How can one pick up another and miss houses at the same time? Houses were missed Wednesday morning when the 80-ton crane nearly flipped over while underestimating how heavy a tree slated for removal was. I'm always, you know, surprised and, and you know, a little bit shocked when one goes over and always concerned that, you know, someone could have been hurt. Thankfully, no one was home in the removal zone. People were evacuated as rescue cranes were rushed from Denver. It's not a Tonka truck, that for sure. Well, they're just adding weight to the crane itself, aren't they? Annabelle and Dick had front row seats. We've had fun watching all the supervisors. <laughs> We're some of them. Well, most everyone had a suggestion on how to get that crane back upright, but those suggestions all seem to end with, but I don't really know. If I were supervising this job, I'd have four cranes on, the do uh, on their sides. <laughs> it would be a disaster. When you first look at it, you think, Oh, how funny, a truck tipped over, but then when you realize the enormity of it and just two arms of the truck keeping it from crashing into homes, it's scary. It's really scary. We got our 300 ton Grove set up there. Um, he's connected to the boom of the crane and he is gonna lift up on that while we have a 90 ton crane on the outriggers behind it here. He'll stabilize it as they upright it. After hours and hours of rigging and waiting. Go, 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 go. Slowly, the big rigs lifted the crane inch by inch. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> Jolene knows this will be the talk of the neighborhood for months. The next time one of us hires a tree person, we're all going to be thinking twice. In the University Acres neighborhood in Fort Collins, yeah. John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.